Hey, what's up, boxers? This is Zach Rizzo with BuildBox. I got a quick tutorial for you and a quick pro tip for all you developers out there. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to randomize your scenes, but also make your game get progressively harder. All right, let's check it out. So I have the avoidance template set up here, and right now, I've got the timeline editor open, but I wanna show you this real quick. I've got three easy scenes that have all of these enemies over here in the uh, on the left side. So this is, uh, they have one column, and then we have medium scenes with two columns of enemies and some hard scenes with three columns of enemies okay so I want to show you how you can make your game go from easy to hard and this is great for endless mode of games where you want uh, the game where you want the player to face and encounter more difficult uh, harder and harder scenes as they progress okay so the further they go the more challenging the game gets which is really great for retention okay this is a pro tip through and through okay so the way i have it set up right now is as the player is going through the game here and they're continuing to play it's going to be randomized between just these three scenes okay and um, sorry for the zoom cuts there for you uh, but the it's going to randomize just between these three scenes and then once they're past that section then it's going to be randomized between these medium scenes here okay and then once they get past those then they'll be facing the hard scenes and let me just show you real quick what this looks like so when we start the game, it's just going to be the left row or the left column over and over and over again, okay? It's just going to repeat. And then once they get a certain distance, then they're going to be facing the medium scenes, all right? And you can totally randomize them by using the timeline editor. And then once they get past those scenes, then they'll be facing the hard scenes. Okay, so that's how you can set it up so that you have easy scenes, medium scenes, and hard scenes. Now. There's another way to do this as well. So I wanted to show you this before I finish this video. Okay, if you want to make your easy scenes also be randomized with your hard scenes, and so once the player gets a certain distance, they just have a couple hard scenes thrown in, okay, thrown into the randomization, here's how you do this, okay? So you go over here and you just stretch them out, okay, so that they go all the way to the end, and the same thing with the medium scenes too. You can have them do uh, do, and you can have the medium scenes be thrown in there as well. Okay. Now, so this is what's going to happen. Here's the logic. Okay, behind this. As the player progresses, first they're only going to be seeing these easy scenes. Then, once they get to a certain point, they're going to be seeing easy scenes and medium scenes. All right, and then lastly, once they get to a certain distance, then they're going to see some hard scenes thrown in there, and that's only for like your pros, only for the people who are like crushing the game and they're getting to that point. And you can even have like hidden scenes and stuff, like cool special scenes that only like the best players can see. Okay, and it's all set up through the timeline editor right there. You just randomize your scenes and you can just move your dots over and, uh, to where you want them to. It is. It's super, super easy. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope this video is useful. If you wanna see more videos like this, then please like this video and subscribe to our channel. All right, see you later, boxers. Like and subscribe.